How important is a sense of humour while in the public spotlight? Will Australians warm to Julia Gillard's quick wit? And will they also enjoy the political satire directed towards her leadership? Magda Shabansky, that's definitely got your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that a sense of humour is um, a very powerful sign... Well, I've got to be careful because I'm saying... It's a sign of emotional health. And I think, as Aussies, we instinctively know that. Being able to take the piss out of yourself, not taking yourself too seriously, not being sanctimonious, you know. And it also means that you kind of have your, your communicator and that you have um, a, an awareness of other people, an empathy, I think. You, you know, I mean, I don't want to... I don't know. Was that, yeah. that the answer? Yeah. To I reckon it's... Top not. She's going to. <laughs> she has. And a... she's a ranger like Sharon Strzelecki. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I... Magda, she um, she clearly does have a sense of humour, but she cops it as well, and she's going to cop it. That's a big part of of her life now, isn't it? Yeah, she's absolutely. Lots of go satire we directed. She's going to cop it, and she's going to cop it in a lot of ways that will be very personal. Um, often about women, it's about appearance. You know, oh. I mean, already there's been all sorts of things about the, you know, her hair and the way she dresses, the way she talks, blah blah blah. Um, so, um, what never ceases to amaze me is the the whole thing about gender, as though women are some sort of minority vested interest. We're 51% of the population, you know. So uh, I would hope that, that finally we're getting to the point where we've moved to well, a slightly more genderless... I, I, I agree entirely. Ad advertising where we build humour into it is just the best thing of all and where you can get it to work. I was just trying to work out with these two fellas here, Meg. Uh, what do you think? Do you reckon they're funny? <laughs> <laughs> not always, in, not what, always what intentionally. Hey, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll Bill make it to the I top job. Will he, will he be Prime Minister one I day? Think I'd be curious to know if you went head-to-head -head with the mining industry who, with their ads... Who, who me? If yeah, you, yeah. No, you, yeah, yeah. if you did the ads yeah. for the, the ALP. So <laughs> I'd like to see that, no, that no, clash. The business I'm in, we'd like to do both ads. That way we could try. <laughs> 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 um, well, one, that's called, well, one quick that's judge, called knowing the outcome in advance. Uh, uh, one quick judge, <laughs> what about Barnaby? Could he make it to the top job as, as Prime Minister? Oh, I thought you meant as a comedian, oh, yeah. as a stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second, I think careful, the moment's careful, coming. She, she got <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I just yeah, happened to have brought it. along Sharon's red ranger. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the official Sharon oh, wig. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Never wear funny hats. Whack it back on and say, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you look so pretty. Resist, Barnaby. Uh, we put a few carbuncles on you. That's, that's well that's done, Barnaby. So, <laughs> it's like... Goodness I, knows where, I, that, where well, that has been. The last been. time I saw that, it was running across a field um, <laughs> eating grass. <laughs> <laughs> Barn Barnaby, but humour is very important. You, you use that uh, very well in yeah. the work that you do and you try and cut through yeah. using gags and, and lines. She's going to cop it sweet too, though, and, and that's the other side of using humour in politics, mm. isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I suppose it's a, it gives you empathy with people. It also is a little endorphin pill for people. They like to laugh, and if they laugh, they're listening to your message. And um, there's nothing worse than... You, you train yourself at town hall meetings, and if people aren't emotionally engaged, they're not, just not listening to your message. I'm sure Howard would agree with that. And uh, so let's see how it goes. It, it's... it greases the wheels, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 What well, is the difference about me between you and you? Our, our life is made up into 30 seconds and 60 seconds, as long as they go. I've never heard you talk as short as that, ever. <laughs> it does bang on. Just then. <laughs> Just then. <laughs> All right. We have a web question now from Erin Crimp Van Crimpen in Brisbane. And her question, I heard Julie Gillard described as an unwed, childless atheist. Would it matter if she weren't a woman? Janet Albrickson. Um, it's obviously more of an issue because she is a woman. Whether you like it or not, I think one of the political realities is that um, you know, we tend to gravitate towards people that we connect with. And I think Mark Latham was quite right the other day. I know the Labor Party doesn't like to listen to Mark Latham, but I think he was quite That's right true. when when he when, <laughs> when, when he said that um, <laughs> when he said that Julia Gillard ain't no soccer mum. Now, of course, she gender alone, I think, will get her across the line with lots of people in inner city cafes. I don't think it's going to work in the same way for her in some of the Sunbelt seats in Queensland, uh, the outer suburbs in New South Wales and other states. And that's, um, you know, that, that's just how it is. Julia Gillard knows that. She's not going to play the gender card. She doesn't need to. She's too smart for that. I want to hear from everyone on the panel on this one because the gender issue is, is yeah. front and centre in this. It was historic. Janet Albrechtson, do you wish privately that the um, Conservatives had have reached this milestone first? John Howard had some extraordinary stellar and senior women 
uh, in, in his cabinet and in his ministry. Do you wish the Conservatives had got there first with a female leader? Um, let me be honest. I think Julia Gillard is, is a yeah, top-notch performer. Um, she, she's first class. I, I don't think there's any you know, great sense of who gets there first. I think she deserves to be there. Um, but she does need to get a mandate from the Australian people. She does need to explain a lot of issues. But you know, she, she's pretty first class, I think. And it, it's not a, I don't think it's a political thing. I think when she became Prime Minister on um, Thursday, we all got a bit of a, you know, a shiver thinking this was a great moment. But then it passes. You know, she's now just back being a politician who has to explain herself. Harold Mitchell, how would you sell Julia? Well, I think she should just be herself because people believe it. They're happy to see her. What people like like to see uh, is, is 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 people with policies. They're going to do this. That's what leaders are all about. As I said before, right at the beginning, you get confused between managing and being a leader. And quite possibly, uh, a previous prime minister got so caught up in managing that he forgot to be a leader. And if she just says we're going to do this, this, and this, that is important. If you leave a void, someone else will fill it. And that's the important thing. She has to say this is what we're going to do. Go to election late August to get all the things with Barnaby's worry out of the way and get on and lead. OK. Uh, Barnaby Joyce, does the Coalition have to be careful now in how it deals with and from time to time attacks Julie Gillard because she's a woman? Yeah, you do. I mean, uh, the world hasn't changed that much. No one likes to see you, you know, beating up on a chick. It's just, it's an ugly look. <laughs> and it's, it's, but it's the truth. And if you do do that, you, you'll get marked down. It'd be ridiculous to say anything else. Perhaps the standards will be raised, but, consequently. But, you know, we're... we're, we're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice Oh, yeah. with anyone. I, I don't think that'll happen, but we're, what oh. we she do, gives what we do have to do... Is yeah, we, but it'd be we, nice we'll... to see it. You know, yeah, if yeah. people back off, that would be nice in any gender. Barnaby, yeah, yeah. if you want to Yeah, we'll, we'll take the debate where back to where it should be. We'll say, <laughs> look, if you want to know about a policy, the building the education revolution, that rip-off is definitely her policy. Her fingerprint's all over it. And we'll say, look, if we're going to have a debate, let's have a debate about the debt. What is her policy to reduce the debt? We see even the concerns people have about the environment. Oh, I haven't heard about her environmental policy. What is it? No. You know, these, these things... At the moment, we have a honeymoon period, as you undoubtedly have. It's going to be about puff pieces and wonderful things and people's pets, and that's all marvellous. But sooner or later, we've got to get back to how we're going to actually run the country. All right, just want to quickly hear from Christine Wallace and Bill Shorten on this gender issue, well, first see, of all. See, Janet is the problem for Barnaby because Janet Albrechtson... Alan Jones, Andrew Bolt, the absolute roll gold right-wing political commentators of Australia, all love Julia. And, and this is why you well, guys you are so red hot. You're writing a book hot. about her. This is why you guys are so <laughs> red hot. She is not only absolutely... I reckon Tony Abbott's in love with her. That's Correct. I <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Oh, I don't know about her. So, so as, you, as you note this... It's a big rumour to start tonight. That's a huge call. That's a big call. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's absolutely straight up. You've only got to look at the way he looks at her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 How does he look at her? I'm deadly Show sick. me how he looks at her. Have you checked out his speedos when she's around? Christine, could you please give Barnaby I'm, that look? I'm deadly serious. <laughs> when when Tony was health minister and Julia was shadow, he was quite open. He likes her, he admires her. He can't say that straight up now. Okay. But, but the fact is, you know, oh, he's been completely love. nixed. He's been completely nixed by her elevation and you guys are so bilious about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. We're, got all, so we're all tragically infatuated with her. We can't get to sleep at night. Can I, can I... I'm, you've got me. I, Damn it, I, I'm out of here. I, and he is trying to quietly give her advice. If you saw him on The Insiders the other day, he was saying, Julia should do this, she should do that. <laughs> she should just take those ideas from her opposition leader <laughs> and put them into practice. But when it comes to women leading, I actually think the, women, the population of Australia don't give a rat's ass if someone is capable. Mm. We're used to single, uh, unwed, childless women running things. They used to be called nuns. <laughs> <laughs> 51% of the population is women, people. Someone has to be unmarried. I'm one of them. You know, we are around. And the fact is, you know, who cares? I really think if she does a good job, no-one gives a yeah, rat's right. ass.